I have a, a message for cyber criminals out there, and this message would be that you're not fooling anyone. I don't think there's ever been a time when we haven't seen a group of people who are trying to subvert what society is doing or misuse tools that are being used for their own personal ends. So when you think about hackers, you think about maybe your neighbor, your kids, somebody from high school. It's too much work for one person. It's, it's not possible to write the malware, to operate the command and control server, to write the botnet panel code. I'm uh, Kostin Rayo. I'm the head of the global research and analysis team at Kaspersky Lab, also known as GREAT. Uh, and together with my team, we focus on uh, researching and investigating highly sophisticated cyber attacks. I'm Adam Research, I'm principal security researcher at Kaspersky Lab. <laughs> oh, Golovanov, he's, um, he's the type of guy that, if it gets technically more advanced, he get more enthusiastic, and then the more nervous the people become. So this is our ATMs. Somebody is calling us, and there was some cyber robbery, some haste, they ended with the ATM, and then to reproduce attacks. So we need just to prove how the criminals were able to dispense the money. I've been uh, in the business for about 24 years now. I've always been interested uh, in complicated uh, clockwork style mechanisms and taking them apart. Maybe a combination between an engineer and a detective's work. Igor Kuznetsov is uh, one of the team members uh, in GREAT. In my opinion, he's possibly one of the best reverse engineers in the world, if not the best reverse engineer. My name is Igor Kuznetsov. I work as principal security researcher at Kaspersky. Uh, I can't uh, remember any case where Igor couldn't crack that particular code or uh, solve uh, whatever, let's say, cryptographic mystery we needed to solve. I fell in love with computers when I was six. First of all, in generic and then programming. And one day I got infected by a virus. And this is how I got interested in the industry. I guess a lot of uh, people who work in uh, the security industry, they do share some uh, characteristics such as um, they like taking things apart. They like uh, hacking. I do like to take things apart. Uh, and well, what we do here when analyzing the cyber attacks and malicious software is we do reverse engineering. This is exactly taking things apart and trying to understand how they work. We've seen such amazing change that actually, you know, if you say to somebody, well, you know, I've worked in a particular industry for 20 years or whatever it is, it might think, oh, well, you know, is that a bit dull? But we've seen things change so rapidly that actually it never stands still. It's a moving target. And on the one hand, that can be frustrating because, you know, if, if we've changed from a point where we weren't so dependent on computers to one where we really are totally dependent, that means there are more points at which we can be attacked. It was December 2002 when I started working in Kaspersky Labs. Every time we found something new and very sophisticated piece of malware, I look at this and I think, oh my God, it's top of evolution. It's never stopped. And I can imagine what we'll see in future. In the team, we have many people from all over the world. Uh, some of them are self-taught, but many of them also just have masters or another degree in computer science. I'm heading the German part of the global research and analysis team at Kaspersky Lab, and my machine got infected, and uh, I took it kind of personal, you know? So I dabbled into security, how to secure my machines so that won't, will not happen again. Uh, it's basically coming down to three ways. Malware, phishing, and social engineering. You know, this first experience with uh, computer security and computer hacking was uh, so, I mean, so empowering for me, actually, that I felt that there was no way I would make a living out of it. So uh, I chose to uh, secure systems because, uh, yeah, this is actually obviously the, the right thing to do. The investigations that we're doing do make the world a little bit safer. And that is very satisfying because that, that is what we do it for. We, I mean, we want to protect 
citizens and people from being a victim of malware. So I think cybercrime, there are always going to be people who will seek to make profit from cybercrime. I think that will always be with us, and I think we need to understand that, and that's why it's so important that as businesses and individuals, we look to defend ourselves on the basis that there will always be somebody who will seek to attack our systems.